Hi, I'm Dustin, one of the Ozcode magicians. In this two-part video, we're going to look at how Ozcode gives you the power to debug and troubleshoot your link queries. Link is one of the greatest additions to C-Sharp and .NET, and it would be difficult to find a code base that doesn't make heavy use of it. Link changes how we write parts of our code from imperative to a more declarative style of programming, meaning we can express what we want, but not necessarily defining the nuts and bolts of how to get the result. This is both a blessing and a curse, because while writing link queries is fairly easy, even the simplest of queries can be hard to debug. Unlike loop constructs, we can't step through each iteration to see how using a subquery, we take those results and filter down even further to find only the numbers that are multiples of 15. Normally it wouldn't be possible to see how individual items are evaluated in a link query since we can't set breakpoints inside of the queries. We can only examine before and after the query execution. But with Ozcode, that isn't a problem any longer. To use the power of Ozcode to debug a link query, you'll need to set a breakpoint on the query itself. At runtime, when the execution breaks at the query, Ozcode provides some very useful tools. The first thing you may have noticed are the numeric annotations to the right side of the query. These numbers represent the number of items after the evaluation of that line. The top annotation shows 100 because we have a source collection with 100 items. Down in the WHERE clause, we see 10, and further down in the subquery, we see a 3. These numbers represent the number of items in the final result set for each query. But why? Well, we can see exactly why by clicking on the annotation, which will give a visual breakdown of the query line by line. So let's start at the top. Above the numbers variable, we see an annotation with 0 as the text. This represents the value of the current item in the collection being evaluated, which happens to have a value of 0. These red and green highlighted areas represent the result of that particular predicate. Green is true, and red is false. You'll notice the subquery does not contain any red or green highlights, and is actually crossed out. This is because it will not be executed for the current item being evaluated. Why? As we can see, 0 is neither odd nor a multiple of 5. So the WHERE predicate returns false, and this item will not be included in the final result set for this query. We can change the item being evaluated by choosing a different item from the collection in the link data tip window. If this window has disappeared, you can hover over one of the annotations to bring it back up. The link data tip window will display the result of what came into and what went out of each operator. For example, if we chose the first WHERE clause, on the top left, we see that 100 elements came into the WHERE clause, and on the right side, we see that only 10 elements came out. Clicking on either option will show you the list of items and also the result of each evaluation by that operator. For example, we can see that 3 did not get selected, but 5 did. We can see exactly why by clicking on the individual items. If you have a large list of items, you can quickly scroll through the items when hovering over the annotations using the mouse wheel or by using the up and down arrow shortcut keys. As we select different items, Ozcode shows us how the query reacted to that item. You'll also see the annotations change to show which items we are evaluating relative to the collection. If we stop on 5, the subquery is no longer crossed out, and again, it's very easy to see why. Next to multiples of 5 and odd, we see 1 of 10. 10 is the actual number of items in the result set coming from the top query. And 1 represents the current index of the item being evaluated relative to the collection. If you want to see exactly which items made it past the first query, you can hover over the annotation and examine the details in the link data tip window. On the last line, we see 3 and a no entry sign. 3 being the total number of items in the final result set for the subquery, and the no entry sign tells us that the current item being evaluated will not be included in that result set. We can see exactly why it doesn't make it into the results, because the predicate in the WHERE clause is red, meaning it evaluated to false. Again, if you want to see which items end up in the final results, you can hover over or click the annotation. Let's change the number to 15 and see how this changes. We can clearly follow from the top of the first query to the end of the subquery and see exactly why 15 ended up in our final result set. 
It's odd, and a multiple of 5, and it's also a multiple of 15. Through the magic of Ozcode, we can now step through link queries to troubleshoot and debug with ease. So as we saw in this video, we no longer have to worry about how to debug our link queries. Ozcode provides useful information and powerful tools via easy to read annotations. The data tip window gives us a quick way to examine the input and output of each operator and navigate through individual items. With the red and green highlights on the predicates, we can easily examine how an item will be evaluated by the query with only a glance. In the next video, we're going to look at even more tools that help us work with and understand our queries, including the link analysis tool, and we'll see how Ozcode removes the mystery out of exceptions. Thanks for watching.